My name is Kane Lewin Turner. I am a graduate student uh, studying history. Uh, my research is uh, broadly on this, uh, well, historicizing uh, black anarchism, uh, looking at the ways in which black communities, uh, predominantly in the second half of the 20th century, have articulated um, anti state uh, and anarcho desires, uh, dreams, and uh, ambitions more broadly. Um, at the center of that focus is gender and how black women specifically have uh, one had the necessity, but the means to look beyond the state uh, for uh, community um, uh, and for liberation. And, and it's not it's not irrelevant to my politics uh, and to the kind of my lived experiences, as it were, of protest. Um, I think I've got a couple of minutes, so I'll just I'll quickly reflect. Um, on a kind of, you know, what Stuart Hall calls a conjunctural moment uh, for me. Uh, and that was uh, being a, a student uh, and undergraduate at the University of Bristol um, and living in Bristol during the pandemic and, 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 and being present whilst Colston fell. Um, for me, I had been writing at that point for uh, three years about uh, Edward Colston, um, the legacies of slavery in Bristol and beyond and how that relates to um, the present of one of the most segregated cities um, in Europe. Um, for me, I didn't see, um, I didn't, I never saw the anti-racist attention to heritage as in any way incidental. I, I, I see heritage as the core of, the, of, of uh, past and present uh, uh, articulations of anti-racism and, and social hierarchy. Um, not just because of the veneration of of of, um, of past injustice, injustices and and uh, you know uh, ghastly figures like Colston, but because it, it it represented the dithering, the uh, and the lack of the lack of um, action by the discourses uh, that were intended to um, bring about some kind of uh, some kind of uh, palliative response to racism. And that's, I saw it as a means to critique, predominantly, uh, diversity inclusion as a means to liberation. Uh, and I'll, I'll leave that there. My, my, my response to Colston, I should say, initially, when I was there, when it fell, was a kind of an odd reactionary uh, kind of concern, mainly between the asymmetry of those who are pulling it down and those of us who would feel the, the, the brunt of the response. And that came true uh, with uh, numerous attacks uh, and instances of racism after the fact. Um, and, I, and I've spent most of my time, and hopefully we can get into this uh, after looking at that reality and looking at the ways that heritage for her heritage activism can be dissident. Um, and so to put, put all those disparate things together, uh, a concern for heritage is at the core of my anti-racism. Um, my experience has been uh, one of writing about writing about it beforehand, being a part of the movement to get knowledge out about figures like Colston, a very minor one in, in, in my sense, and then responding and living through the realities of what of, of that conjunctural moment. And hopefully, I've now I've spoken for longer than three minutes, but hopefully, we can get on to what a dissident heritage, as I call it, actually looks like. 